Welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. Today's a very exciting day. I've been waiting for this day for about a year. Uh, Fluid Art Company has released its first chameleon super shifter paints called Stuck Up Pigs. Now, they look tiny. They are tiny. The reason why we and many of the fans of TLP had to fight for these is because they're very exp expensive. Shh. It's okay, piggies. Oh my God. Where'd you go? Oh, there you go. I'll just hold them nicely because you, you, you want to take care of your little stuck up pigs. So what you have to know about chameleon pigments are, they are more expensive than regular pigments. Um, Fluid Art Company is selling these one gram bottles and they're also selling, uh, which I don't have with me, five grams. For one gram, it is $12.97. For five grams, it is, I can't tell you exactly, but around $50. However, do not panic. Everybody knows it's obnoxious. There are some chameleons that are more expensive and there's some chameleons that are cheaper. This is the only chame chameleon made specifically for fluid art, just like the TLPs. So it's finer. The chrome, there's so many tips. I probably should read the website about all the special things about it. The chrome is super intense. The colors are super vivid. Now, I actually have not even used them yet because I've been really thinking about what I wanna do and how I wanna showcase them. I, for beginner bloomers, I wouldn't suggest diving into these yet because this one gram, I'm gonna mix one for you. Um, I'm probably only gonna get like a four ounce cup, maybe a little more out of a gram, but I'm gonna try to find ways to make it more, um, not spreadable, but make it last longer. So number two, there's so many things that you can do with this that lasts a long time. If you go to the TLP Facebook page, Shelly did a live. Um, and so there's a lot of dry brushing. When you dry brush, this lasts forever. So you can dry brush resin molds and things like that. Um, but I wanted to play around with some blooms. So I'm gonna go very simple so you can see how crazy the super shift is. By the way, let's talk about what the colors are called. Uh, there's pompous, okay? I, in the description, I'm gonna put the colors and the shifts. They do like five or six color shifts. It's incredible. Okay, so we have pompous, which is basically like a red to uh, black, which you can't see. You can kind of see the red here. I'm gonna do a little turnaround with them and it moves, shifts to black, okay? That's pompous. Then we have <clears throat> boastful, which has like greens, blues, there's like some golds. Again, I'll be more specific in my description. And then we have, I think this might be my favorite one, I'm not sure, um, pretentious, which is very like pinky to turquoisey blue. Maybe you'll see it better. This is the pretentious, let's see. So you can see, okay, oh, so you see the pinky red you're always just gonna see this right until we go to the cool light, hold on. I'm gonna show you a better one, but why not if you're curious? Okay. Uh-huh. I don't know if that helps, don't worry, I'll do a better situation. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use these little six inchers. Um, I'm going to maybe do like, cover with a bloom, half a color and a bloom, half a color and a swipe, I don't really know. Why don't we mix one um, and see how we go. I am a little nervous because again, for each color, this is what I have, this, this amount. And to be honest, I mean, this amount lasts a lot for me for blooms, even though I do big ones, because really per bloom, you're just going bloop, so imagine how many bloops are in this, quite a few, but still I know it's a big expense. Um, I'm gonna be using a black um, pillow paint, my Sherwin-Williams color to go, because these colors show up better on dark bases. So if you're using a white base, maybe put like a dark color underneath. 
Let's see what happens. Let's mix up some, I'm gonna mix up some boastful and see what we get. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I've mixed up the pretentious and pompous. Uh, again, you probably can't see, but don't you worry. We have boastful. This is like nerve wracking a little bit, isn't it? So as I said, if you're just brushing on stuff, um, you take your little brush, you put it in, and this could last forever. Like one brush really covers a lot, but we're dumping this whole baby right in. Let's see what we got. Okay. Making sure to get every, oh yeah, get it all out. Making sure to get it, everything. And as I said in my description, I'm gonna like post all the information I have about them because, um, look at me, it's still coming out. And I want you to know when you mix them up, they might look a little duller than you think, but you don't need that much. They don't need to look as vibrant um, as you think they need to, because as they dry and especially over the dark base, they will look good. Okay. I've got every morsel out. This is a pretty good amount. And to be honest, this is probably what I would put in, in my regular cup. So I know that for sure, this is going to be a good four ouncer. Okay, so let's see what happens. Now, you know we bloop. And as a matter of fact, I've decided um, when I get some time, I'm going to do a full measuring video with a scale and everything. Okay, I'm putting like this much bloop very slowly because, um, you know, I know Canela, oopsie, measured when I was doing it at her house, but those measurements are just for the Bear 8300, which is quite thick. So that, oh, look at how vibrant this is. So they won't work for every kind of clear paint. It just works for the bear. So I'm gonna go get a bunch of different paints. Like I'll get Dynasty, whatever I can get my hands on. Oh, look at this. This is, you know what? I probably could get more than four ounces out of this. Look, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm so impatient for you to see how awesome it is, but of course, whatever. We've gotta be patient. Okay, I love what this is looking like. Um, hmm, should I save a little in, in more of a cup to see? Let's see. Just for fun, I'm gonna pour a little bit in a second cup, just a bit, because I think we can stretch this a little further. Let's see. Um, I'm just gonna do my bear straight from the can, okay? Bloop, I'll do two bloops. At first, we're gonna bloop it in slow, right? Because we wanna make sure everything is good. So you can start to see, you're like, oh no, where did that vibrance go? Don't you worry, it will come back. It just, for whatever reason, gets dull like this. It will still work, okay. I love this. Maybe I didn't need to save this. I'll put some more in there anyways. So let's look at consistency. It's nice for a bloom. And I could actually add more bear if I wanted, but I wanna make sure today that we get the right color. I'm gonna put a little bit of bear in here. It's a teensy weensy. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put each color on this tile and just give you a little spin around. Um, so you can see, so this was just a little bit and you see this is also, oh, it's also thick too, but don't you worry, this color, but at this point I wanna just add it in, this color will also be very vibrant. So don't judge what they look like in the cup. Okay, so, on this tile, I'm gonna put each of the three colors and um, I'm gonna pick up my phone and do a little spin around so you can see what's gonna happen. So why don't I do that now while you see what I'm doing? Okay, so I'm going to put some tricorn black down first and just do little dollops just so you can see the difference 
on the dark base, you know. Spread this out a bit. Doopity doop. No big whoop. <laughs> I see a bloop, but we don't care. So let us. That's good. Okay. We'll start with boastful. This is how much you would use in a bloom anyways, right? So it's going to last a long time. This is pompous. Okay. And pretentious. Okay, now I'm going to take you off the thing and we're going to go. Oh, you can already see cool things happening. Uh, we're going to go for a spin. Okay, so remember on top we have boastful, middle pompous, bottom pretentious. I'm going to really try really hard. What? What? Look at that gold that pops out. Just look at all the colors and then we're going to go for a spin, okay? But just look at this. Am I doing it right? I mean, they're so the light does doesn't even do it justice. Now let's go for a spin this way. See what happens. My phone's like <laughs> auto adjusting. It doesn't understand. Okay, spinning here, spinning, spinning, S spinning. Ooh, and then back here. So you can see like the intense color shift that happens. Well, yeah, I think this is the best way to show it. So which one's your favorite so far? Okay, now let's hope, let's hope that I can do justice. Okay, I can do this all day. Okay, let's get to actually pouring. Okay, I've decided to keep it simple, but I didn't want to keep it too simple. I did want some contrast. So I'm gonna start with Boastful. And on top of my pillow, I'm gonna use Shadow Green. And you're saying, why are you putting green on black? They're both very dark. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and then I'm gonna to top it off with my Titan Buff Light and I'm gonna use my Payne's Gray Cell Activator. I have mixing videos, you can look at links down in the comments. Um, and so I'm like, kind of, we got this, right? Like we just gotta go get, get into it because I'm nervous. And I don't know why I'm nervous, it is only paint, but you know, I, I think we can do this, all right? <laughs> I'm hoping anyways. Okay, so let us, and I'm gonna do a little side bloom so we see some negative space. Hmm, I'm gonna have to do really small amounts, which is also difficult for me. So all in all, you know what I mean. Okay, so I got my little six incher. I'll pour a bit of the black. And I don't want to put too much pillow paint because I don't want to spin too much. Now, one of the things I will suggest, so I'll do a side bloom for this one. And each, each color, I'll do a different thing. So I'm not going to suggest anything yet. We're just doing a regular side bloom. Okay. So here we go. I think we're good. Back in the middle. I'll just go like this. Been waiting for this moment for a year can you imagine okay uh i'm going to put such a small situation not too small somewhat small okay there you go done <laughs> genius okay just joking next we have the star of the show. Okay, look at that. We can get tons of blooms out of this. Okay, especially if you're even going smaller, like on a four inch coaster. <sighs> Finally, I'm only putting a little bit of this. It is a little thick. I'm gonna just, okay, just like that. Now we pray. 
to the gods of sparkle. I mean, this, oh my God, there's a blue when you go like this. Okay, I can't wait to show you. Doesn't matter how this looks, the sparkle itself, you know what I mean? Oh my God, are you ready guys? Dun, 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 dun. She's cute. She sparkles. Breaking up. Okay, while this is looking fantabulous, I'm gonna go get my skewer and look at all the angles of my gorge color. Now we do have a lot of black here. I might have to swirl it around because I don't want to blow too hard down into the pillow. All right, so. Because oh. if I keep blowing down, I'm just gonna get pillow and it's gonna get stuck and be ugly. Okay, we don't want that for her. Just making the boring parts fun. Yeah, maybe, hopefully. That one didn't do much for me. Okay, now this is gonna come off, but maybe not so much because I didn't put a lot of pillow for that reason. I didn't wanna have to spin it too much. I like what's happening except for right here. Okay, now, do I wanna touch middle? I could spin it and see. I'm looking at my color. Pretty cute. Should I do squigglies? You know, just a little bit. I'll go with the thick. There we go. You know, just make it look like a cute flower. Okay. Are you ready? I am gonna thin my cell activator just a touch, I think, by adding more Australian Floetrol. Oh my God, this blue, whatever this blue is when I'm standing right here. Love it. Wait, there's a little bloop. Have you ever seen me caress a little six inch as much as this guy? Okay, are you ready? <sighs> Guys, we're gonna get through this, right? Let's just get her going. Okay. I need to get this going this way. Okay, get this going this way. My little baby girl, my cute little stuck up lady. Right, she's cute. And we're gonna stretch her a little bit this way. Okay, let's keep going. You got this. You have to talk to them like plants so they behave. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Now, let's see. Oh God, that's gorgeous. Okay, I don't even need that many more spins, but I just wanna make sure all the edges are off. You know, wait till you see what's happening here. Okay, so that was a side bloom. I might as well think about my next situation while she's doing this. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with her, I'm leaving her. Okay, so I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna try to capture what's happening here for you. Um, and then we will move on to our next situation. Be right back. Okay, I wanted to show you that blue. Look, look at that blue, okay? And then look what happens. Okay, turquoise, okay? green i'm trying to reach okay let's do that again we'll move up okay yeah 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 Woo! what is that Woo! love that and just so you know in the light in this light here she looks like that okay so oh Ooh, what color is it? It's like a magic trick. 
Magic. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, next idea, we're gonna do pretentious. Same kind of color layering, except I'm gonna start with Matisse Australian Red Violet, which by the way, my genius friend, Brie Edge, please go follow her on Instagram. She won't go on YouTube, which is ridiculous because she knows everything about everything. Brie Edge, please, E-D-G-E, -E. go follow her, she knows everything. However, because I was always like, oh, this is so expensive, I really want it. Um, because they have another color called uh, Australian Ocean Blue, which I knew was just phthalo turquoise, which is beautiful. Anyways, she said this is quinacridone violet. That's it, so we don't have to ship it from anywhere else. Anyways, little side note. So what I'm gonna do, I have this vision, yes, my swiper's dirty, it's just dry paint, but it's fine. Um, I have this vision of doing a line of Australian Red Violet. Then on my palette knife, oh, I'm gonna thin my cell activator, going cell activator, buff, and pretentious, and I wanna do leaves. Is this too small? Am I? Am I a nut? I could be a nut. Okay, let's get organized anyways. Let me just do a little thinning of the cell activator while I'm here. All right, I'm just doing a little bloop in there just because I want to make sure that um, not to leave too much dark color on top of it. You know what I mean? Okay, I have my cell activator there. Let's do the same thing again. Just a touch of black. Again, I'm not, don't want to be spinning it too much. Because, you know, I want to keep it cute. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, so tell me, do you guys want me to do a measuring video? It will be really hard for me, but I'll do it for you guys because I love you. Um, and again, the measurements can change with the weather, etc., etc. But I guess it would give you a good starting point with everything. Okay, we've got quite, I think there's a bloop in here. Hold on. What's that? Okay. I might have put too much, so I'm just going to. Uh, no, I think we're okay, actually. Okay, yep. And back in the middle. Okay. So here we go. I'm just going to go like this. So, oh, you know what I do need is a paper towel to wipe the tool in between swipes. That's what we will do. All right, see how clean I am? Okay, so we're starting with a line of this, so we don't really care. Okay. Now, how's that gonna help me with my swipe? I wonder what I was thinking because unless I swipe outwards, which is not, whatever, let's try one swipe outwards. Not really what I had in mind, but again, wouldn't it be cute, but it, it wouldn't really work as well. Okay, just talking to myself, let's experiment. I feel confident now because the first one was so cute, it doesn't matter what I do next. So I've just put my cell activator on here. I'm just gonna drizzle a bit of this, okay? Now we have the special sauce. I'm gonna put a lot of it. All right, so again, oh yeah, color looks good. Okay, let's keep her away from the mess though. So my idea was, I'll go outwards first. Okay. Oh God, that is, whatever I just, oh my God. This color, oh my God, you guys. I don't care what I just did. Again, when I go like this, it's like super red or something. And then I go like this and it's like greeny blue. <gasps> then it's like magenta. I like, I like what I just did. Don't care, don't know what it is, okay? I just wanna do one. How do I make it look cool? Like, I love the, I love the magenta on top. I like what I did. I like the shape. I don't want to ruin it. What do we do? Do we go like that? No. Do we go the other way? I suppose we do. That's all we've got to do. Again, at this point, 
doesn't matter because the color is so killer. You literally could just like draw a line and it would be really cool. Okay, so I got my cell activator again. I'm gonna drizzle again, okay? Oh, I gotta go over there where I hit it. And I'm gonna drizzle again. Okay, oh, are you ready? Let's hope that I can do her justice. What did I do? Okay, whatever. Okay, we don't know what I did. Don't panic. Second swipe was not as cool as the first one, I'll admit it, but let's see what we can do to fix it. I like the magenta around the edges, so I'm gonna fix whatever it is I just did here. I think because I also, it was hard for me to swipe that direction, to be honest. Oh God. Okay. Can you guys see? You can't even see what's happening, don't worry. Trust me, it's a thing that's happening right now. Some sort of something is happening and it's gonna make our eyes happy if I don't screw it up. Which, <clears throat> it's very possible that I do screw it up, but whatever. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave that swoosh there. I think it looks cool. See my hand shaking? Not because I'm nervous, but it's kind of hard uh, to be so delicate, isn't it? Okay. I don't know, guys. One more thing, and then I'm spinning. Okay, oh my God, when I go, I can't wait to show you. Okay, let me just move my tools. And then we will spin her out. And then the last one, we'll figure out something cool to do, hopefully as well. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna give her a good old, oh God, these colors. Good old spinny winny. I will say I am feeling more confident now with them. And I think that's really important to note, which is, I'm just getting the paint over the edges here. You cannot screw, not that you cannot screw this up or I'm saying it's impossible to screw these up because like no matter what you do, your eyes are gonna be like, what? You know what I mean? So that's good. Okay, okay, just a little bit more here. Okay, let's see our paint stitch. Yeah, we can do this, like this. Yep. I did put a little touch more paint than I wanted, but that's okay, because I'm getting off the edges I don't like, actually, so it's kind of fine. Um, let's see how we're doing. Okay, I don't want to mess with it too, too much. Okay, I really want to show you the color shift in this one. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go to Spinny Winnie. Okay, we're gonna start here. Okay, look at that color. Okay, and look how it starts to shift. Oh God, oh, look, look at that. I didn't even know it turned that color. Look at that turquoise. It doesn't go anymore. My arm doesn't go anymore, but <laughs> just imagine what you can get. And for fun, let's go over to the warm light over here. Oopsie. 
So there you go. Cool? Yes. <clears throat> okay, so my next idea is to kind of have this um, as a fake pillow. How I'm gonna do it, I don't know yet. But, hmm, okay, I kind of, no, okay. So I'm gonna keep with the, <coughs> am I keeping with this? Hmm, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep with this on top. Now, to continue the theme of one tube color on the bottom, I have this purple, but it's quite bright. So I want to darken it up a bit. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, by the way, I should tell you what purple it is. This is um, Triart Ultramarine Violet. Oh, low battery. Hold on. And what I like to do to darken my paints is um, I, you, I mix it with some bone black. So I have my bone black here by Golden. Let's see if this works. Oh. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna get the color I want, but I just want it a little deeper. You can have so much fun mixing things. I can even add magenta to it. Okay, let's see. There we go. So yeah, it's like, a, you know how I love my smoky perps, right? And there's so many different ways to do it. This is a little too, a little too smoky. So let's even her out a bit. I forgot how pigmented golden is. Uh, okay, yeah. So it is like a gray. Um, you know what I am gonna do? I am gonna add a touch of, warm it up a bit, the magenta. And this is like the fun you can have kind of mixing your own custom colors, you know what I mean? Until you find something that super excites you. Because I have an idea, to, um, I'm gonna do one more after this. Yeah, this is a really nice color, I enjoy it. Um, and maybe, should I use a blue pillow for this one for fun? Why not, right? Um, so I have um, Anchors Away. Color to go. Oh, I should maybe use that other way. Okay, so the plan is I want to Just have this as a half, okay? Have the anchors away as the other half, and I'll do a little bloom vine. Why not, right? Now, I should, because I want it to kind of cover, I am gonna thin a bit of it out because I want it to spread kind of nicely. So in another cup, I'm just gonna pour a bit into a cup, okay? This can be my thinner version doing. I've just poured a bit into this cup and I'm going to thin it out a bit just so because I don't need it fit for bloom because I'm not blooming on it. I'm spreading it. So you can make it thinner. Let's hope this works, right? Okay. So sparkle, really nice. Okay. Let us begin. So this case I'm gonna, oh, it fit. I'm gonna kind of pull it like that, okay? Now, I'm going to pour my um, pouring medium on top, my pompous, and then stretch it out with it. Now we don't have to be exact, right? Okay. But I do wanna make sure, oh, the color looks so good already, that I can stretch it out. Okay. Bear with me. Okay. Cause I can go like this, yep. Okay, good, so we know gonna reach that edge. And you see, I, I didn't even need to put that much, but I just want to make sure. But now we know you could really cover a lot with it. Okay, I'll make a fun shape with it, right? 
Now remember, I'm still, <clears throat> I'm still gonna spin. Sorry, I have something in my throat. So the ends don't really matter. Oh, it's like a little yin yang, sure, right? Okay, so we're back in the middle, okay? Let's see how this color looks. Love that red. Okay, so why don't I do a Ziggy Bloom Vine, right? So I'll start with that custom perps that I made. Okay. Ziggy Bloom Vine. Okay. Then I'll do the regular perps. Should I put a sparkle in here? No, do I? Because I don't want to detract. Do I? No, we'll just go plain. You know how that's hard for me, but I've made the decision. Okay. Now, let us blow her out. Oops, I put too much, but we don't care, right? Uh, remember how important aim is for these. I don't know if you hear that banging. Elliot's sure working hard on something. Yeah, that's a lot of cell activator. You see what happens? It just doesn't want to break up. It's okay. We'll do a design. Okay. Cool. Let me move this while it does its thing, and then we will get our skewer. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah, this back thing, I'll probably just tilt it off anyways, right? Because we have the room to do that. I don't want to ruin these cells, but I don't know what happened here. Blue. That's pretty. All right. Loop. Okay. You know what? I don't mind what's happening. I think it's kind of cute. So I'm just going to, instead, I don't want to make the decision of tilting this thing off yet. Okay. Let's just spin and see what happens. I think this is kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, wait, let's get this edge off so she spins. Okay, I feel, oh, let's get this edge. I kind of feel good about myself that we were able to do three different types of things. I'm gonna do one more, so don't go anywhere. So I kind of have an idea just again to showcase all the colors together really quick. But I think by doing a faux pillow, by doing a swipe and a bloom, you kind of could see the versatility of them. Oh, I like that. Okay. Hold on. These shapes are getting a little weird. Huh? And so I'll do the <clears throat> light on this one. And then we will get to the final product. Let's see. Paint. Good. All right. Stick around. Okay. Here she is. I'll start this way. Okay. Let's go down. Down. Down, oh, where'd she go? What? But look at that deep red. Oh my God. I love her. 
Okay, big finale, 10 incher. I'm gonna do my layered bloom. You know how I do like my alcohol inks staggered colors. The exact same thing we did, like with the dark color underneath, the um, <clears throat> SUP on top, stuck up pig, and topping it off with my Titan Buff Light. Let's get to it. I'm feeling really good. By the way, they go on sale tomorrow, which is Thursday, October 19th, maybe, 20th at, oh gosh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, but just go head over to the uh, Facebook page, really. Oh, there's, I see a bloop coming right at, oh, look at this guy, hold on. Yep. Um, so yeah, get your colors. Are you gonna get all the colors? Is there ugh, another one? Is there one that you liked better than the rest? Sorry, I'm being really messy as usual. Um, this one again, I don't want to put too much because I think I do want a really nice black background. We'll see, right? Um, okay. Doopity do. Oh, I see. I put too much already. Isn't that funny? People make fun of me because I'm like, oh, I don't want to put too much. And then like, I dump the whole thing. Let's see. Is it too much? It's a bit, but I'll just spread it out like this. Yeah. Silly Lisa. Okay. It's okay. We're back in the middle. Okay. We don't want to screw the fina big finale up. So let's do Perps looks really nice against this black. Okay. Um, let's do on top of the perps the, um, you know, what's it called? Not boastful. Pretentious, boastful. Hold on. <sighs> so many names. Oh, pompous. Sorry, pompous. Pompous. I wanted to get it right for you guys. Okay. We're gonna like layer them really fun. I am putting a lot more. Again, you wouldn't necessarily do a 10 incher, you know what I mean? But I just wanted to see what we could do with them. Um, ugh, walking around, I, that red, awesome. All right, then we're gonna do the Australian red violet, but we know it's really magenta. Quinacridone, no, violet, quinacridone violet. Thanks to Brie, Miss Brie. Okay, then I will do pompous. And I'll just pour her out because I don't know where her thing went. Then on top, I'll do my green and boastful. Oh, I did work up a sweat today. So stressful. Trying to like make sure you do a good job, you know? Do them justice. Cause they're really special. What I really like about them is you don't see the thick like uh, glitter in them. They're not glitter. So they're very fine particles, which make it really pretty and sophisticated. Okay, boastful. Do, 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 do. I don't think we're gonna have negative space, but it's okay. Right? Oh, should I do a little more? Why not? <laughs> okay, a little drop, 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 drop. Okay. Then I'll cover with the Titan Buff Light. Do I want to thin this out? Mm, that's okay. Bloopity blue. Bloopity blue. Bloopity blue. Okay. Here we go. Let's hope this. It wasn't a big letdown. If it was, just pretend it wasn't, and we'll just ooh and all at the sparkle, right? At this point, what have I got to lose here? Okay. Here we go. Julie. 
I really wanted to make sure to get every layer. Whew, that was a good blow. Oh yeah, baby. You know what? I think I didn't do too shabby. Oh gosh, I can't wait to tilt. Okay, let's do a little skewers. Oh God, look at it from this angle. Oh my God. So from this angle, I'm seeing the blue from the whatever is the blue <laughs> and then the bright pink and then the red. Oh my God, from Pompous. Okay, don't get too excited, Lisa. Just wait till you see. This is definitely gonna spin off, but there's certain areas. Which I just wanna fix a little bit in case, you know? So all in all, you know what? I was more stressed than I needed to be. These guys really worked hard for me. And so I appreciate them. Thank you so much, little guys, for your hard work. Let's get some boob lace. Um, I, so I definitely would recommend, honestly, even, remember how I said in the beginning, if you're a beginner, don't, don't use them. Well, guess what? I take it back. And I shouldn't have said that. And that was my own faulty thoughts. That's my therapist talking. But not my therapist. I'm a therapist, if you didn't know. Uh, we call them faulty thoughts, by the way, where you tell yourself negative things that are not true. So I take that back. And I erase that from your consciousness because everybody needs the sparkles <laughs> in their life. I know, I'm talking too much. Okay, how are we looking? Are we ready to spin? I think so, let me just do this in case these edges don't come off, which I think they will, because I did put a lot, remember? Okay, uh, this little thing's bothering me right here. And then we'll go. Okay, are you ready? Oh God, the color's killing me already. Spinny winny. Spinny winny. Look at those colors when I spinny winny. Oh, you guys. You guys. I should have just done this the whole time. Spinny winny. Okay. There's one little buble that pop that's going to annoy me. We'll just work that out. Okay. Um, how are we doing? one more spinny winny but then I think we are good okay wait till I do for closer to this one I hope I can do it justice okay so tell me which one is your favorite which method is your favorite do you like the finale with all three? Oh god I think you will I really love you guys thanks for sticking with me if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up if you have never seen me before Subscribe to me if you'd like. I mean, I'm not forcing anybody. Okay, let us see what this looks like. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good day, bye. Okay, first we're gonna stay on the spinner. I want you to see that red, the blue, and that pink come out, okay? There's that red. Oh. There's that blue, I love that blue, whatever that is, right? And then from the top, you can see it's more purplish down here. Look at that turquoise on the top. Look at that red pop out. Oh, I'm in love.